Keith McIntosh, helping you grow and protect your most valuable assets. Hi guys, today I'm going to speak to you a little bit about debt consolidation. Now, the average family, they run into different issues when owning a house for over a period of time. It could be uh, costs associated with their children, it could be costs associated with replacing a furnace, a roof, a kitchen, a bathroom, it could be job loss, could be a disability, could be many things. However, what ends up happening is over time, you start to rack up your bills on your credit cards, on your lines of credit, on different loans, and you're not paying your debts off as efficiently as you can. The purpose of this video is to take a look at a family that has a household income of $150,000, a house that's worth $400,000, and see what we can do their situation how we can take a look at improving their cash flow increasing uh, the payments towards the mortgage or putting money aside for a rainy day retirement and or properly insuring themselves so that if anything were to happen to them whether it be a disability a death critical illness they would then be able to make their payments when something like this was to happen. So we have household income here of 150000 We have a mortgage with a balance of $240,000 left with a house value of approximately $400,000. Current monthly payment is at $1,600. They've got a $20,000 balance on their credit card. Uh, their monthly payment on that would be $600, especially if they're looking to actually make a principal payments back. Same here. Let's move that over. They've got a ten thousand dollar loan and they've got a four hundred dollar monthly payment on that loan. And line of credit, also a three percent balance of your uh, current balance on your line of credit would be necessary to pay it back in a sufficient amount of time. And a lot of institutions require at least a two to 3% minimum by repayment on their lines of credit, unless it's secured by your property. So as you can see, right now, they're making 16, 22, 26, $3,500 a month towards their payments. And what I propose is that you refinance those payments back into your mortgage. So you have a current balance of $300,000 on your mortgage. I've got an example here of 2.99% with over 25 year. So this shows you that the current monthly payments, $3,500 a month versus potentially a 1,400 uh, monthly payment. So as you can see here, what we'd like to do is we'd like to say, what can we do with this extra $2,100 a month? So that's where I'd like to see people put in their uh, tax free savings account, their RSPs to make sure that they get critical illness insurance, uh, disability insurance, life insurance, so that they can retire, and have a slush fund. They can make sure that their family's properly protected. We can also take a look at paying off the property that much. So if we play around with this 25 year time period, take a look at, let's say, reducing that to 10. So now once we've reduced that to 10 years, uh, we're still making $600 less a month in payments. So you can probably, uh, probably, probably insure yourself and put a bit of money away towards a rainy day and your mortgage could effectively be paid off in 10 years if you're in the proper uh, mortgage with the proper prepayment privileges which I can show you how to do. So going back to that 25 year time period we see how that increases your annual cash flow by 24 almost $25,000 a month. So if you have any questions please feel free reach out to me by email. Please feel free to uh, visit my website at keithmackintosh.ca 
And if you like this video and you found it to be informative, please like, please subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you.